Coast from Britain Living with humans What shenanigans will happen next Where's that Katie Wicks goose? Oh, <laughs> I'm such a silly filler What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI, this is Ghost Season 1, Episode 6, Getting Out? We're not getting out, we're not going anywhere, we're staying here with Robin, we're staying here with the Captain, we're staying here with Kitty, Lady Button, uh, Thomas, is he the, the, the love struck one, and Pat, and Mary, and Julian Fawcett, Julian, I think I'd say Jillian, Julian Fawcett. I think I'm across the names now, it only took me six episodes. But if you want early access to my ghost reactions, patreon.com slash fwci is where you can get that. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube because I'm going to go through all four seasons, but this is the season finale for season one. And I, I mean, I'm not sure where the story is going. I mean, they're going to have to stay in the house for four seasons at least. So do they get it operational as a hotel or something at some point? That would be my guess, I suppose. And the other big question is, is Mike ever going to be able to see the ghosts himself? I don't know how they would try and replicate that. That might be a jumping the shark moment, but I like Mike and I'd love it if he could interact with these ghosts too. Maybe he'd stop doing so much dumb shit. Let's jump into the episodes. This is Ghosts, Season 1, Episode 6, Getting Out. Oh, oh, the pigeon is still there. He's the true antagonist of this season. I can't see anything. Oh. No. Mike, we're late for work. Work? Where? Where are we? Where do we work? All right. If the pigeon is there, though, does that mean it's the only animal that died on these grounds? The first choice, bomb. Is it cooked? Of course, I'm not an animal. Could have fooled me. Hey, you want some? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well. So he's talking about rump, I guess. Rump steak. Why not? I can't be the only one who's sick of the noise night after night. Oh, not this now, again. Now, I'm not oh, talking God. about you, Fanny. I'm talking about Alison and Michael. Banging. All in. <laughs> Banging, hammering, drilling. It's in top... Oh, right. Okay. Okay. It's time to force them out in the night. But then they'd be gone. Exactly. Mm, do they not want them gone now? They're going to sit in a nice pub and drink four pints, probably. Oh my god, that sounds nice. Yeah, imagine if we had pub money. Strike while they're weak. Get them out forever. I don't want to. What? Well done, Kitty. And by the way, Captain, don't you want to find out what happens on Friends? Or watch Hitler shows on Discovery Channel? Since they've arrived, you've become worse and worse, and I've had enough, to be actually honest. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'm ranking officer. Well, we're not soldiers. Yeah, this isn't the army, sir. <laughs> when there's a crisis, you'll need me. When the chips are down. Oh, chips! Uh, <laughs> bum and chips. Yeah, bum and chips, yes. The home! Essentially, it's a melted cheese with, you know, little bits of bread. What? Bread and cheese? <laughs> oh. oh. Who is this? Mike. Mike! Lager top. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm such a silly pillock. I thought you were the groundsman. Oh, well. Wow. Nice work, lady. Good first impression. <laughs> I'm Fiona, Harrington Hotels. Alison. Mike. Oh, hotel rep. Would it interest you to talk about selling the place? Oh. Oh. Better not at all. What's the opposite of her pleasure? It would pleasure me to talk about it. Yeah. All right, just don't go shaking her hand, Mike. That's a good one. And then there's a Swiss roll. First, you remove your... Everyone, everyone, come quick. There's a lady downstairs with red hair and she wants to buy the house. <laughs> with red hair. I love that she specified that one thing. Excuse <laughs> me? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> So when do you expect to open? Oh, she's a spunky one. Straight down to business. <gasps> yeah, can you help us out with this, Julian? Oh, like a B&B. &B. At first. Oh. Well, it sounds like you really are doing your best. Wow, you condescending bitch. We can afford the short-term loss for the long-term gain. God damn you and your logic, woman. <laughs> this house is worth at least a thousand pounds. 
lady button. <clears throat> um, yes, please. It does look like a lot when it's written down, doesn't it? Subject to survey, of course. Oh, subject to survey. That's not good. Hotel! Hotel. Oh, no, I said it. Common room, now. <laughs> if everyone can make it and wants to. Why don't they want it to be a hotel? I feel like that would give them a lot of shit to do. Didn't the others tell you? No, we're having a little break from each other, actually. Oh, yeah? Got sick of you being a bit of a prat, did they? <laughs> <laughs> You're not there anymore, are you? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, that's a dick move, Captain. Oh, he sounds like the captain. No, 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 captain be more like, uh, fall in, uh, take control, fall in. They're just mocking the shit out of him. To boss everybody about and never think of anything for myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that one was a bit harsh. <laughs> Calm reasons, not so. Uh, yeah, let's start working together, everybody. Yes. No! Oh. Yes. Done. Yeah. Oh. My. Great! <laughs> At least that wasn't a handshake. Did you get gooseberries? Oh. <laughs> they haven't got a clue what they're doing. They've actually ripped my arm off. Yeah. Yeah, we can get this for a steal. <gasps> wow, really? Yeah, I knew she was a, some sort of conniving character. Pow wow, upstairs, now wow. <laughs> so they want us to stay now? Yeah. No, I know, I don't understand them either. Yeah, I think the surveying is not going to go well. We can find an unhaunted house to live in. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, yeah? Yeah, no, we should wait till it's official before we start looking at houses. <laughs> oh, oh, it's this guy again. It was renovated by an architect. He lived there first, I believe, in the 60s. Let's take a look at the <laughs> Did this architect die there? There he is. So you don't want to see inside? No. Go to a house, find a ghost that you really get along with. It'd be great. Put the house on wheels or a cart, move it to pastures new, then the hair lady can build the hotel in its place and ours the house forever will be. Okay. <laughs> what a plan. If they can find their own investors. We no want hotels. Yeah, hang on, does Julian know people? To be a hotel if there are investors. It's very clever, you see. You tell them they've invested in offshore high yields. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Sounds a bit like fraud, mate. <laughs> I shall ghost write a novel in Alison's name. A modern... God damn it. Give this a try anyway, but this is not the solution. Erotic fiction, bro. Runs breathlessly. I'm trying to drive a car. Yes. <laughs> Kenny. Next chair. Eat up and then they do it. <laughs> I'd buy that. <laughs> oh, and what spirit is looming in here? The view. You've got to be joking. I know. Stunning, isn't it? What are pilots? And it's Hello. south facing, so you know, when the sun's out. Hello. <laughs> How the hell are they just floating there? I'm trying to figure out what was the cause of death at that point. Direction, leadership. No. Yes, what is it? Nigel. Nigel. Um, why are you here? <laughs> there is no reason why we shouldn't be enjoying the whole house together. We'll show them. Oh, what are you doing here, Captain? Sure, we do fall out from time to time, but it's never lasted longer than 20, 25 years. Jesus! Yeah, it might be a plague pit, but it's our plague pit. <laughs> These plague victims are hilarious. Things I never thought I'd say. A lot of space needed for facilities, spa, swimming pool, etc. So I think my valuation might have been a teensy whit premature. My fault entirely. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's a wily one. <laughs> the multi deck, housed in a knapsack, can play a selection from four albums. Oh my god. Hey, international Center of Excellence in chess. A lot of money in chess. A lot of money. 
Yeah, that oh. may take some time, okay. Rob. Tell you what, though, gambling. Oh, let's find some buried treasure. <laughs> Invite all the richy riches to the house and fucking shark all of them. Of course. I know just the thing. <gasps> what have you hidden? Have you buried something? Not a ghost in sight. It's a really nice house. Yeah. Nice garden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This was what we wanted in the first place, wasn't it? Yeah, what's well, about to go wrong? It's quiet, isn't it? Hmm. Ooh, now they're just changing their mind as well. Are they with you? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like they're kids now at this point. Annoying, dead adult supernatural kids. When you first came here, I thought you were a prostitute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Underneath that board is a box. And in that box is a jewel. An Arabi jewel given to my husband by Queen Empress Alexandra. Hus oh, holy shit. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. Thank you. That's... Uh... I don't know what to say. Well, I mean, it is yours now anyway. I can't physically stop you. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, darling, pawned it. You thieving dick! George, you bastard. Look, guys, no offence, but it wasn't... Oh, I had my hopes so high just then. Yeah. I shall cease my wooing, should you like. I shall make you dumb. I shall peep. <laughs> Wait, what was that one? I shall peep no more on your husband at Privy. <laughs> Can you honestly say you wouldn't leave if you could? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a heavy question, Kitty. I don't want to listen to this old walrus. You heard? Yes, I'm afraid so. Even the bit about your ear hair. What? <laughs> trying to swindle them by a considerable amount if i'm right mm. now there is something you can do hey here we go she didn't tell you on purpose so she could pay you less <gasps> good work kitty thank you kitty i'd hug you if i could i'd love that i'm gonna miss you in a way maybe i can come back and stay in the hotel sometimes oh yes you could sleep in my room we'll stay up all night talking about balls and eligible men <laughs> And Timothy Nightingale, I'm sure. Or maybe not anymore. I think the um, the appeal of him is has gone. I've seen many house come and go here. No, that makes it worse. Yeah, that's a good point. He he's seen so much. Robin, like his history is like unfathomable. I think I've described it like that before, but it really is. I think maybe we might have on one of our other properties. It was silly of me not to have thought of it here. I really am a first-class booby. Never mind, we've got that in the end. Yeah, can we get a different person then, please? Because this bitch keeps making these mistakes and then be like, oh, silly me, I'm just a c complete tit. I took up a couple of stone slabs, started digging, and um, we uh, had to stop because we found something. something. What did you find? There's a grave. Whoa! <laughs> That's all the plague victims, of course. Look, Mick, it's you. <laughs> we'll find a property that isn't a mass grave. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, we still need some cash, though. <laughs> Watch it, Humphrey. Bingo. <laughs> hey. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, you missed me. It's been, old house, it's been a whole season trying to get back on that body. Captain said that the basement would... Oh, oh, yeah. Captain came through, okay. You made me do something horrible. Yes, but they're staying. Oh, hey, that's good. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be stuck here forever. Uh, join your club. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Oh, oh, crap! Guys, <laughs> nice. I'm back, and I feel amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> so did I miss anything? Or was... Really? That easily? Left a bit! 
All right, that was a good finale. It almost felt like they were writing the story so that they would be able to move on and perhaps the series was like approved, like, you know, towards the end of the season being made or whatever like that. I don't know, but it seemed like it could have definitely been a definitive finale for the story that they told. But of course, we're staying there. You know we have to stay there because it's just too much fun. Kitty has been great in this uh, whole series and especially in this episode. I always thought she was a bit like just bubbly and curious, but now I realize she's just a bit of a horn dog. I mean, she's just horny. <laughs> I'm really enjoying Robin in this series as well. He, um, they, when they write jokes for him, some of them are very like contemporary jokes but they really always hit like they seem to pick their spots for him to sort of cross that line into a little bit more unrealistic but it totally makes the scene work and uh, i think they do a great job with him the story with the captain you know kind of like infiltrating the group uh in a way through kitty to get the plan to work so that they would you know be able to stay i like that i like the way that story kind of played out but i want to see more cooperation between the humans and the ghosts i really want to see it be less of a conflict and more of a um us versus them we really need like uh, like we did in this one here we need somebody to come in to the show like a a, a long-term villain that the ghosts and uh, you know charlotte and mike can band together against that's what i'm kind of hoping happens but whatever does happen this show has been a hell of a lot of fun i got my hopes up so high when um fanny was trying to uh, get her to get the box with the jewel in it i thought that was like it i was like here we go like the the next season is going to be them you know still building the hotel but like not having the burden of having no money to do it with so i guess we're going to continue on that sort of thread of them sort of trying to figure out a way to finance this place and make it livable and make it you know work with their life but i can't wait to see what we've got in store let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode and this series don't forget to subscribe here on youtube if you do want to see more of this and patreon.com slash fwci for early access and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends ta-ta and farewell